Hi there, it's me, Nancy Drew. You're just in time for my latest mystery, Treasure in the Royal Tower. Choose your difficulty level to start off. If you're new to adventure games, you might want to click the tutorial button first for a few tips on how to play the game. Dear George, so much from my Wisconsin ski vacation. I arrived here at Wickford Castle last night, just before a blizzard swept in. The mountain is completely shut down, and the surrounding roads are closed. I think I'm one of the few guests who made it to the castle at all. The place is huge and old, and slightly creepy under the circumstances. You should hear this wind. What's more, the owner, Christy Lane, my father's friend, is away on business. I tried to ask the caretaker, Dexter Egan, how I could contact her, but he said he didn't know. Doesn't that seem odd? I couldn't help feeling like there was something he wasn't telling me. All this makes me a little nervous, but I'm determined to enjoy myself. After all, this is a vacation, right? I have big plans to explore the castle. That Ezra Wickford, the original owner, must have been quite a character to have built such an extraordinary place. It's filled with strange, dead-end corridors, for one thing. And I noticed one of the towers is totally different from the other ones. Of course, I'll have to save some time to meet Jacques Brunet, the French ski instructor. Tell Bess she'll be the first to know if he's half as gorgeous in person as he looks on his website. So, George, I guess things never quite go according to plan. But at least this time, the culprit is just a snowstorm. Talk to you soon. Love, Nancy. Now all I need is a mailbox. Sounds like the radiator is broken. Welcome to the voicemail system. Please press zero to retrieve messages. To leave the system, please first message. To go to the next message, press two. To leave the thank you.
dead end. It's locked. I'm Lisa. Did you hear what happened? Someone broke into the library and vandalized it. Dexter locked it up. He's saying the culprit must be one of us in the castle. Can you believe it? I didn't hear about the library. Do you know what happened? I haven't the faintest. I mean, who would want to mess with a bunch of dusty old books? Anyway, it's all locked up now. So, maybe we'll never know. Too bad, huh? I'm dying to see what they did to it. Don't quote me on this, but I think Dexter has an extra key to the library somewhere around his desk. I guess you've really got your finger on the pulse around here. Any other castle scandal I should know about? Oh, we got scandal, honey. Professor Hotchkiss is claiming she's been robbed, for one thing. But the real scandal is downstairs. His name is Jacques Brunet. What do you know about Professor Hotchkiss? Oh my gosh, wait till you hear this. Hotchkiss is this nutty old woman who's always typing and talking to herself in her room. I was walking past her door earlier, and I heard her screaming that her room had been robbed. Wow, did she say what was stolen? Not that I could hear. She just kept wailing, my theory, my theory. I think she teaches history, or maybe a foreign language. I thought I heard a couple of French words pop out of her mouth. But don't quote me on that either. I only barely passed Spanish in high school. Do you have a theory about all this? Hardly. I'm just a humble photojournalist covering weird old mansions in the Midwest. And this place is one of the weirdest. Did you know Ezra Wickford, the original owner, shut himself away in here for like 50 years? You must know a great deal about this place. Not really. But I sure want to get into that tower that came from France. It'd be great for my story. Too bad Wickford sealed it off. Maybe it's his ghost making those creepy noises at night. What noises? Oh, just your average bump in the night sound effects. It's probably just Dexter trying to spook up the hotel for the publicity. I mean, did we stumble onto the set of it as the castle turns or what? Well, you probably want to get settled. I wonder what we're going to do with ourselves while we're all cooped up in this place. I'll let you get back to your magazine. Stay warm. Hi there, how's it going? I'll let you get back to your magazine. Keep me posted.
Hello, Miss Mitch Ruru. Did you get the square way upstairs? Oh, square. I just need to stand down this letter and then I'll be off to explore the castle. Well, I like to take your letter, letter, but the mail's not going anywhere for a while. It's just snowing like there's no tomorrow out there. So it's explore all you want. Take the grand tour. But forget about the library. It's off limits. Sounds like you need this, Mr. Dragon. What, what happened? Too, too many old oh, books? Someone made a vandal at our store library. library. Really, really turned turn the place upside down. down. The, the owner is lame. lame. She's gonna get pretty, pretty upset. upset. When can this happen? happen? I have, I have no, no idea. idea. I straightened, I straightened up, up in there. We're checking in yesterday, yesterday and everything was fine. Now it looks like a bomb went off. Books everywhere and some guy had a big hole in one of the walls. I locked the place up and called the police, but who knows when they'll be able to get here. Wow! A hole in the wall? What do you think they were looking for? I can't, I can't tell, tell, but somebody, somebody has definitely asked for something. something. What, what else has gone wrong? Well, well, th this professor is a hotchkiss. Just called, called me a terrible, terrible flap, saying that our room's, room's been robbed. I went, I went up, up there, but she wouldn't, wouldn't open the door to talk about, about it. it. Wouldn't, wouldn't even tell me what was missing. What so what do you want me to do about it? Sounds like you're swamped, Mr. Dragon. Is there any way I can help? Well, Hotchkiss has a pair of ski boots in the basement. The Frenchman's worth working on them for. He won't, he won't deliver them. Says he's, he's a ski instructor, not a bell. bellhop. I hate to ask this, but if, if you could grab those boots and bring them up to her, it, it might smooth her feathers. Sure would smooth mine. Okay, see ya, Mr. Egan. Bye-bye. I should wait until I'm alone. I should wait until I'm alone. It's too dark. I should take the elevator.
The combination is 5, 1, 7, but it's not working. I wonder if the lock is broken. Ugh, it's like the North Pole out there. Ugh, it's like the North Pole out there. Jacques must be gone. It's locked. It's locked. Them back on. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Je m'appelle Jacques Brunet. So, what brings you to beautiful Wisconsin? Bonjour. Je m'appelle Nancy Drew. I'm here on vacation. What's your excuse? Uh, my excuse? Yeah, what brings a professional skier from France to Wisconsin? Why not Aspen or Lake Tahoe? I am here for Isabelle, mon petit chou. She's an American studying at the university in Madison, and I've asked her to marry me. That is excuse enough to be in Wisconsin, n'est-ce pas? And besides, I am not the first French work of art to end up here. Ah, so you came halfway across the world for love. That's a fine excuse. So, when's the wedding? Uh, uh as soon as possible. Are you the eager one, or is she? Do not ask me about the affairs of my heart, Nancy. Or I would think you are trying to steal it. But tell me, uh, how will you spend your time here, Nancy? I'm dying to have a look inside that library. I heard it was vandalized. Do you know anything? Nancy, a pretty girl should not worry herself with this type of thing while she is on vacation. Uh, I should warn you, Dexter is very protective of this place. He does not take kindly to people snooping around where they should not. Thanks for the tip, but I think Dexter and I are going to get along just fine. Get along just fine, you say? <laughs> 
Ah, a woman who knows her own powers of persuasion. Elle est dangereuse, non? Ciao! Ah, Nancy, comment ça va? Dexter told me the combination to my locker, number 310, is 517. I tried it, but the locker won't open. Hmm, Dexter must be confused, because I think that is the combination for number 311. Uh, try 311. I need to bring Professor Hotchkiss her boots. Do you have them? Uh, yes, I fixed her boots. Uh, but you should be relaxing by the fire, sipping cocoa, Nancy. Not running errands for Dexter. Tell me about these boxes you're making. When I am not skiing, I need some other way to express myself. So voila! I make these hot boxes, for keeping secrets safe. I'm sure you have many secrets, Nancy. Do you know much about the tower that's closed off? I heard the original owner imported it from France. It comes from the Chateau Rochemont in a town in France near where I grew up. And Marie Antoinette used to visit this tower when she was Queen of France. Until she lost her head in the revolution, that is. I'll talk to you later. Allez, bye bye! It's locked. Hello there, Dead End. My name's Nancy Drew. It's locked. It's locked. Yes, hello! Is that Jacques with my boots? Actually, it's Nancy Drew. But I do have your boots for you. Oh, good! Uh, boots, fine! Uh, thank you, thank you. Everything is fine. Uh, just leave the boots at the door, please. <laughs> yeah. 
Ooh, and it seems I'm out of change. I'll just have to tip you the next time, Mandy. It's Nancy, and I'm happy to leave the boots. But if you're not too busy, Professor, I'd just like to introduce myself properly and ask you a couple of questions. Questions, yes, yes, and proper introduction sounds lovely, but not now, maybe later. Something's missing here. This one goes nowhere. I've hit the wall. Can I help you? I think there's something wrong with my radiator. It hisses, and there's a clanging noise, too. Could you check it out for me? Sorry about that inconvenience, but you're just gonna have to sit tight for a while. I'm the only one on duty while the owner's away. And around here, it seems like even if it ain't broke, it still needs fixing. Last time I checked, there were only 24 hours in a day. Hotchkiss called to report that she got her boots. But now I'm told that the light is out in the back stairwell. Could you check the circuit breaker in the basement and make sure it's working? So, how long have you been working here? A while. Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. Goodbye.
Yes? I don't want to pester you, Mr. Egan, but <clears throat> the radiator... Thanks for dealing with the circuit breaker. Okay, we're really making progress here, kid. So, you go up to Hotchkiss's room and see what she wants for dinner. She's not answering her phone. Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. Goodbye. Ugh! Virginia Woolf never endured such interruptions! Who is it? It's Nancy again. Dexter needs to know what you want for dinner. No, oh, hard to think of food candy when I'm riding the raging rapids of my theory. Oh, right now, I have plenty of pre-packaged energy globules to keep me going. But tell Baxter that I am developing a powerful craving for couscous. Yes, couscous for dinner would be splendid. I'll have a nice tip for you next time, Fanny. It's locked. It's stuck. I'm not sure if I can make it. Yes? The professor says she has a hankering for, um, couscous. Couscous? Never heard of it. Tell her to order something off the menu. I was in the elevator and it got stuck between floors. I had to climb out the top and I just barely made it up to the floor above. Do you think you'll be able to fix it? Well, I doubt it's broken. I'll check the power switch in the basement. Glad you're okay. But don't go climbing around the elevator shaft anymore. It's dangerous in there. Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. Goodbye. Is that my couscous already? Sorry, Professor, but there's no couscous in the house. You'll need to choose something from the hotel menu. Well, I don't have a menu. At least not from this hotel. Oh, oh be a doll and, and fetch me one, will you? Ta-ta!
I did you get the menu? Sure did. How about opening the door so I can give it to you? Oh, you're a sneaky one. Just slip it under the door, please. Nice and easy. No funny stuff. Something's missing here. Uh, who? Baby back ribs, yes. Oh, chili cheese dog. A uh, 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 fried bologna sandwich. Uh, I'm not usually much of a meat eater, but uh, very well. Fifty drumsticks, please. Chicken, that is. Cluck, cluck. Sure. Fifty drumsticks. <laughs> Whatever makes you happy. Rock and roll, dear. Can I help you? The professor has changed her order. Seems she's developed an appetite for chicken drumsticks. Fifty of them. Okay then, drumsticks we got. Oops, but I guess Jock better take that bag of chicken legs out of the freezer. Will you tell him? And then take the rest of the day off, kid. Your radiator's as good as fixed. Okay, see ya, Mr. Egan. Bye, kiddo. Ah, Nancy, como se va? Dexter needs you to defrost that big bag of chicken legs. Oh, la la la, what does he think I am? A sous chef! I'll talk to you later. Ciao! It's locked. Did you see I fixed your radiator? Okay. See ya, Mr. Egan. Bye, kiddo.
Is that you, Brandy? Oh, I'm glad you're here. At the moment, my theory is rising like a magnificent souffle. I need to collect a few more ingredients, if you will, but it's a delicate situation. If I leave my room even for a moment, I fear the souffle will come crashing down in a heap. What do you need me for, Professor? What I need is some information about the castle. Hard numbers. I've come to the conclusion that you are an enterprising and faithful soul. Therefore, I have decided to entrust you with this important mission. Who knows? If you succeed, I might whisk you away from the hotel business to be my personal research assistant. Well, Professor Hodgkiss, I'm not actually in the hotel business. But I'd love to help. Marvelous! Here's what I need to know. Not counting the towers, how many windows are there on the face of the castle? I'll be very eager to hear what you come up with. But please, don't disturb me unless you have the answer. Yes! Did you find the information I asked you for? Uh, can you remind me of what I'm looking for again? Him. Allow me to refresh your memory. How old was Marie Antoinette when she married King Louis? I'll be very eager to hear what you come up with. But please, don't disturb me unless you have the answer! Yes! Did you find the information I asked you for? Sure did. Good, but I need you to write it down so I don't forget. Thank you. Let me do some calculations to see if this is correct. Eureka! If there's one thing I like in a young person, it's ingenuity. Now, I've got work to do. Time to stir the cauldron and stoke the fire. But if you'd like to talk, I'll be holding office hours in the lobby between 3 and 6 a.m. Meet me then!
Nancy, dear, welcome to the witching hour. Isn't it marvelous to be up and about when others are sound asleep? I find my brain waves are at their most powerful during this time. Yes, I happen to do some of my best work in the middle of the night, too. So, tell me, Professor, what is this theory you're working on? Well, you probably know by now that I'm a scholar of French history. <laughs> my specialty is Marie Antoinette. Oh, poor Marie, the most misunderstood queen of the 18th century. Marie used to visit the very tower that now belongs to this castle. I'm convinced that this place holds evidence that will forever change the way the world views Marie. But the walls have ears, so I'd rather not say any more right now. Oh, if you're really interested, why don't you go up to my room and have a look around yourself? You've been such a great help to me, almost like an apprentice. <laughs> oh, I've always wanted an apprentice. Wow, Professor, that's really generous of you. I'd love to learn more about your work. But are you sure you don't mind? I insist! Your mind is like a ravenous monkey gobbling up every banana in its path. Oh, how can I stand in the way? Here's my extra pass key. I get back to work at 6am sharp, so just make sure you vacate the premises by 5.59 and put things back where you find them. It's all scientifically organized in there. What did you mean when you said Marie Antoinette was misunderstood? Everyone thought Marie did nothing but spend France's money on jewels and fancy soap for herself, while her people were starving. History books have upheld the myth that she was just a spoiled and heartless brat, but I don't believe it. What do you believe? I believe that she's been the victim of vicious rumors and lazy historians for too long, and that if the real story could be told, people would realize that Marie Antoinette was actually a good woman who wanted to help her people, but didn't know how. See you soon. Goodbye. It's locked. Testing. Can anyone hear me? Hotch kiss to Earth. Come in, Earth. Oh, okay. I think I think we're rolling. <clears throat> now let's get a look at these hallways. So rich in detail. You'd never know. This place was built in 1920. It's all so 18th C. Oh, and there's Marie. I feel so close to her, just being here. It's as if her spirit is in the air, sweet as the smell of fried chicken. Thank you.